see khaki shorts since day one Long Beach fitted, I've been with it since day one That thump thump right there, yeah that's day one A few real niggas left, yep I am one Oh, most definitely I'm an accurate representation, man I mean, cause see, when you push something, a motherfucker wanna know where and where it's coming from, you know what I'm saying? And when I, like I say, I push anybody that know me. I don't give a fuck if I'm, whether I'm in the red rags, it ain't no, even on no disrespect. I don't go see down, but I'm gonna have my Long Beach hat on. See, I want you to know me and what I'm representing, vice versa, you know what I'm saying? And just the way I push the line for Long Beach, I mean, you, you know what I'm saying, you see it with, with, with other folks as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, oh, Snoop push Long Beach, Goldie push Long Beach. But everybody have their own way of pushing Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? This is, it, it's a stamp. Everybody, and it's, it's, if you see it now, everybody is pushing their shit. They line. You know, Watts card coming in, they coming in strong, homie. Watts up. They coming in. You know what I'm saying? When Compton come in, they coming in. Long Beach, we've we, we been doing that. A lot of people, sometimes a lot of people hate on Long Beach shit. It's a lot of shit that be fluctuating through the streets. But, like, on the industry level... Nigga get that respect, and just when you see some Long Beach shit, and you see how it's portrayed, certain people portray it in different perspectives, but you can listen through it through the music to tell who really a real Long Beach motherfucker, who really a real Long Beach native, who really push Long Beach, who really got the support of Long Beach how they say they do, you know what I'm saying? You, all you gotta do is look at their perception and their music. It, I mean, you know, you can't really lie through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit is self-explanatory, man. It's, what you see is what you get, and what you see is what you get. And when you see Bam, you get Long Beach. When you see Long Beach, you see Bam. Period. It's not a, a block of... You can turn on in this motherfucker where a nigga don't get the respect. Motherfuckers might not like a nigga. It might be certain people out there that don't like a nigga, you know what I'm saying, for certain type of hood shit. But respect? Oh, motherfucker gonna respect my line, what I'm pushing, homie. They ain't got no choice but to. Because the way, the way I'm coming in, keeping my left foot grounded, man. Up where it's at, shrub what it do, to my stillers like the way this one's for you. Little rip, I see you soon, my low. Keep your head up, you saggy like my brother. I'm grinding to get my bread up. I'm still pushing the line. You know, it's a lot of shit been going on to where like I was going I mean I been pushing this 2020 vision. It'll be a year next month, you know what I'm saying? And the results of that been stupid. And I always told myself, you know, it's a lot of people that come out within this year span, it'll be people that come out. Even on the underground level, from what I'm doing, the rate that I'm doing it at, excuse me, the rate that I'm doing it at, you'll have people come out with six mixtapes during that year. And the gross of this, them six mixtapes don't even add up to the gross that what I had just for that one album. And, and reason why I did that is because at first I was going to go with that, okay, put this mixtape out this month, then next month put that mixtape out, then the month after that put that one. But I'm like, oversaturating yourself when you do that because you're not giving your audience enough time to get used to that first one. When you go do shows, what you gonna do? Your whole catalog? You see what I'm saying? You wanna do something, this is just my perception of it. You know, everybody ain't gotta do this shit. Everybody got their own methods, but I mean, the buzz shit, yeah, but that's why I get featured. I do my features with people, but my album, my street album, I want you to know that motherfucker. When I go perform somewhere, I mean, you know, I got footage of it. You see it? Oh yeah, motherfuckers in the audience, homie, reciting the nigga shit. That shit feel good. That let me know that the grind is paying off, homie. The grind is paying off. And it's people that respect what a nigga do that hear about a motherfucker, but just ain't really, oh, okay, you know, I'll let him go through a little more shit, let him go through a little more. Motherfuckers act like they ain't hearing about, but motherfuckers know about what a nigga doing because too much shit is happening and a nigga name is in the middle of a whole bunch of shit. But... Without good or bad publicity, man, it wouldn't be shit, you know what I'm saying? All publicity is good publicity, whether it's good or bad. As long as you don't label me no motherfucking faggot, we ain't got shit to worry about. And I'm flipping 2020 vision CDs like they was chickens. I got weight on them. The projects I got working on that I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with right now, I'm in the Lone Beach. Lil' Bam presents. Lone Beach is back, you know what I'm saying? It's the second edition of Pushing the Line, but it's the Pushing the Line edition to where everybody who's pushing the line from Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's a few heads right now. I got involved, reason why I ain't mentioning a whole lot of names right now, because, you know, I got at a few people, I'm gonna see if they gonna get back, they gonna put their tracks in, but at the end of the day, the Long Beach is back pushing the line, that's a, that's a BAM project, you know what I'm saying? Certain people was with it at the beginning, and then it die out as you get, in, get involved. That's why, you know, I like to push my own thing sometimes, because when you 
do group projects. If one person fall off, that fuck up the whole rotation. And then, you know, niggas' egos and then attitudes and all kind of other shit come in play. So, but with that right there, so far, so good with what I got with that. I got a project I'm doing uh, with Tiny Style. You know, that's that's in the making in the near future. I mean, we, we doing certain shit right now. And then the two, uh, the two BAM uh, projects, you know what I'm saying, that I got coming up. The, uh, the little BAM, I Am Who I Am, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be an album. And then uh, the 2020 Vision, second edition of this one, you know what I'm saying, getting active. And shit, that's it, man, for right now. But I, I, I'm going to push something to the streets real soon right now, man. I got I to gotta get y'all something because there's been a lot of shit going on. I got to hurry on and just get y'all something, man. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Go and sell it for $2 or something, you know what I'm saying, do something like that. It's gonna be out of the Long Beach's back, uh, and then this uh, this 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 little little Bam project that I'm working on right now, which will be out real soon. You know what I'm saying? It's just untitled right now. I'm trying to see what I'm what I'm gonna do. You know, it might be sitting on top of the east side because right now I'm sitting on top of the east side. You know what I'm saying? So might be a little. Mixtape, all original beats, just something to give out for two dollars or something. Going throw it on the sites, two dollars shipping and handling. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't gonna break nobody's pockets. Five dollars at the most shipping and handling. So shit, one of those two, man. We gonna we gonna go with that, but you gonna see one of those right there, along with the DVD. You know what I'm saying? The 2020 Vision, Stating the Facts DVD. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just how it's titled, 2020 Vision. Yeah, I gave y'all my vision from, from, from a lyrical standpoint, from a verbal standpoint. Now I'm about to give y'all my visual through the streets. The homies, the community, the stores, you know what I'm saying, the kids. I'm about to give you their vision, what they see, what's been going on in the industry, in the city of Long Beach, the streets, you know, the pioneers, what they done, what they didn't do. It's all from them. Now all this is from the audience. You know what I'm saying? I, I gave you mine, but now I'm about to give you the perspective of what other people see. And what other people see is really what go on. And, and a lot of people need to hear this shit because a lot of people need to be tied back to their roots. So when certain people, you know, I could say something about somebody and it might it might seem like I'm hate. But when that corner store motherfucker say something, it give a little more validation to it just because it's like, they in tie with your community. They need people need to hear this, and the certain people that's probably on top that ain't came back down need to hear this. No matter where they from, you know, it's a lot of people that need to hear what your community is saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I got the Who That Street video. That's stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? That that that's gonna be featured on there. Uh, the streets is mine. That intro. I'm gonna go and get that to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And then plus I got a few videos that's gonna be featured on there by other artists. And so far right now, the only artist that committed to putting something on there right now was uh Maestro. I got it Maestro, he told me, you know what I'm saying, ain't no ain't no problem, he'll put a video on there. So I got two more open slots by some motherfuckers that I fuck with. Uh, I'm really trying to see who else. Really right now, that's the only committed artist outside of, you know what I'm saying, myself that committed that, say they'll put a uh, video on that project. So, the other two slots, you know what I'm saying, y'all just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, right now, we under editing and all that and shit, and still it's a few more, uh, a few more things that a nigga need to, uh, nigga need to get, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I know this ain't never happened in the interview. Hello? But y'all could get this too though. Hello? Now where you at? Oh, it came through this time though, huh? Uh-huh. No, so you what you right around the corner? Show 